Welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss a very interesting topic. All of us, or at least I hope all of us, know the eight planets in our solar system. These planets are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and of course, Earth. We have known of these eight planets for at least a century now. Some planets' existence humans have known about for nearly a millennium. However, through scientific research and technological advancements, we may have discovered a brand new planet. Ever since Neptune was discovered in 1846, there was a question of whether another planet lay beyond it. Astronomers speculated this due to the slightly odd elliptical orbits of both Uranus and Neptune, suggesting there had to be something else pulling them. Starting in 1906, scientists began research to find what they deemed Planet X. They thought that they had found it after discovering Pluto. Sadly, scientists soon realized that Pluto was way too small to have enough orbital or gravitational power. In 2014, after closely studying the orbits of Sedna and 2012 VP113, they realized that their similar orbits must be due to interference from a large planet around 250 astronomical units away. Through intense mathematics and observation, scientists were able to put a puzzle together based off of Sedna and VP as references. In 2016, Batigan and Brown of the California Institute of Technology created a hypothesis regarding Planet Nine that is commonly accepted as the best possible solution to this mystery. The hypothesis suggests that this planet is way out there, and when we mean way out there, we mean 26 times farther away from the Sun than Neptune. This means that Planet Nine may be so far away that one full orbit would take 20,000 years. It also hypothesized that the planet has 10 times more mass than Earth, while having a radius four times the radius of Earth. Many ideas regarding its origin are still up in the air. Some say that it may have been ejected from its neighboring gassy planets that are closer to the sun due to gravitational exchanges, while others believe that it may have been captured by a different star billions of years ago. In their initial article, Batigan and Brown proposed that Planet Nine formed closer to the sun and was ejected into a distant eccentric orbit following a close encounter with Jupiter or Saturn during the nebular epoch. Had it not been flung into the solar system's farthest reaches, Planet Nine could have accreted more mass from the protoplanetary disk and developed into the core of a gas giant. Instead, its growth was halted early, leaving it with a lower mass than Uranus or Neptune. Sadly, despite what we have already covered, not much else is known about this planet. Many attempts have been made to detect it, but none have been successful. Two teams of scientists are working together at the Subaru telescope pointed towards the northern hemisphere in hopes of finding it. Nothing has been found yet due to the fact that it is just so far away from the sun, therefore unable to reflect any light. However, there is hope that it could let off wavelengths other than light. Due to its large mass and cooling core that lets off immense amounts of heat, the idea of using infrared to find Planet Nine is on the table. Sorry if you found this video somewhat unsatisfactory, but that is the beauty of science, the unknown and the hope for truth. One of the most unsatisfactory parts is the name, Planet Nine. In fact, an online petition run by Derek Muller and Batigan suggested that the planet be named after the legendary singer David Bowie, who has inspired many generations to look up towards the sky and wonder. The petition also includes the idea to name Planet Nine's possible moons after characters from Bowie's songs, such as Ziggy Stardust and Starman. Well, that sums up this video. We hope you learned something new and are now more curious than ever. See you in our next video.